Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on these Zalman closed loop liquid CPU coolers, the LQ310, LQ315, and LQ320. The main difference is being that um, the 15 and the 20, 320, um, have uh, blue LED water blocks, and this one does not. Also, the thickness of the radiators do vary. A couple of things to note before getting into the boxes is that they are compatible with Intel 2011, 1366, 1156, and 1155 sockets, as well as AMD, FM1, AM3+, AM3, AM2+, and AM2 sockets. And the differences in radiator thickness for the LQ320 is 48 millimeters, for the LQ315 is 38 millimeters, and for the 310 is 28 millimeters. And a couple more things to uh, go through. Uh, they all come included with a 120 millimeter long bearing PWM fan, and you get RPMs between 900 and 2000. Here's everything that comes in the box. I laid out the three coolers out here for you to give you an idea of uh, the thickness side by side. Here's the 48 millimeter, which is the LQ320, LQ315, the 38 millimeter, and the LQ310, which is the 28 millimeter. And uh, onto the accessories. Here we have your 120 millimeter included fan with its four pin connector. And you are able to mount two fans on each radiator. Just wanted to mention that real quick. And on this side, we have your user's manual. And this bag, we have your socket 2011 screws. They have a shorter and thinner, th uh, I'm sorry, and fatter thread actually, thicker thread. And these are the screws for your Intel and AMD socket setup. You can see that um, the thread is thinner and longer. And in this bag, we have some more installation screws as well as washers. Here is a bag filled with your, uh, let's see, retention ring. And we have your Intel backplate, AMD backplate. And your, this is your Intel and AMD retention clips. Now in this bag, we have some double-sided tape as well as some plastic clips and uh, metal inserts and I'll just quickly go over them. Uh, you place these stickers on, on um, this side of the uh, back plate, just like this before you attach it to the motherboard. And then you take this mother, I'm sorry, metal insert. <laughs> and you pop it through one of these holes depending on which socket uh, you are uh, installing, just like this. And finally, for these plastic clips, these go onto your retention clip. So take your retention clip like this and go ahead and pop this through the hole like this and then snap it into place with this piece here. So. Give me a moment. Okay, to straighten that out. Wait, am I doing this the right way? Yeah, there we go. And now for a look at the liquid cooler. We have the radiator here with your aluminum fins and there are mounting points for two 120 millimeter fans. It also comes with about a foot of uh, flexible tubing. And over here we have your three pin connector that plugs onto your motherboard. The, here is your water pump, and this is the uh, blue LED version. Uh, behind this plastic cover, we have your copper base with micro fins, uh, with copper micro fins inside the water block base, as well as some pre-applied thermal paste. Here's a quick demo of what the uh, pump LED looks like. That wraps up our overview on these Zalman closed loop liquid CPU coolers. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.